Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Okay, guys, let's see if the Tooth Fairy came. Is your tooth gone? Yep. Does it smell like teeth picks? It's <laughs> just like, oh, is that for me? Not really. <laughs> Let's see what you got for money, honey. See what you got. You gonna count it out? Why? She loves to nibble on bedding. I don't get it. Whoa, money, money. What you got? Um, I don't know. Stamp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> What? Nine bucks. Wow, what you gonna do with it? Save it, spend it. Maybe spend a little bit of it. Spend a little, save the rest. Yeah. That sounds like a good plan. Quit nibbling on the bed! <laughs> Very nice. Tooth Fairy came. Woohoo! <laughs> Throw it, roll around in it. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so Chelsea and I found a craft to do. And we found it, I think, uh, I don't know, online. And we have these um, jarring jars, ball jars. So basically what you do is you paint on a mixture two to one of glue with food coloring and then you paint it on and it's supposed to look like sea glass. Well, Chelsea, you know, this is our first time doing it, but Chelsea wants to make a cow print design. Yeah. So she's gonna try it out. This is the only glue that we own in this house. So if it doesn't work, um, we might then just we got have some to black food dye, and then we're gonna do the, the cow pattern. Oh yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I don't know if it's gonna work that way. Um, I maybe I should find a smaller jar uh, to yeah. try it. Okay, let's do that. We'll find a smaller jar to try it, and then. We'll try just a little bit, and then we can use the bigger jar on just the regular design. Sound good? Sure. <laughs> All right, we found Chelsea a smaller jar to try. So she's just trying plain white. Should I do on the bottom? Mm, nah, I wouldn't do the bottom. I would just do all around, and then we'll have to see what it looks like when it's all dry, right? And then we can do the cow pattern? Yeah, if it turns out okay. Is it supposed to be bubbly? Is it supposed to be what? Bubbly. Like bubbly. Mm, I don't know. Okay, there's Chelsea's jar painted. She's going to add some pink to the little bit that she has left. And she's going to try to do, I gotta go find more glasses, <laughs> more jars. <laughs> and she's gonna do a pink one. I do think I'm gonna save this big one just because it's so big and I'm gonna work on, I, I know I have some smaller jars down in the utility room, so I'm gonna go gather those up. Well, I wanna do pink, but I also wanna do blue and some of the other colors. Yeah, we've got some different colors here, including the black, um, which she wants to use for the cow print design. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, you guys, I managed to mix up my favorite color. I use blue food coloring. Well, this like, this neon blue right here. It's called neon blue. And a little drop of green. And it made this like Tiffany blue. That's like my favorite color. Me and my sister both said Tiffany, Tiffany blue or Tiffany green, whatever you want to call it is our favorite color. So I did this little jar first. It's cool because it's got like a little crisscross design or something. And then I had extra, so I went ahead and did the big one. The only thing is, is it's kind of streaky, so I'm not sure about that. And then here's Chelsea's white one that we started with, and it kind of looks like the mixture is like sliding off the glass. I'm not sure about that. Now she's moved on to yellow. Oh, she also did this pink one, which looks really cool. Again, it's got that like crisscross design to it. So. We're gonna let these dry, well, once Chelsea's done. I like the look of the yellow, that's really pretty. Uh, when we went to Florida, we bought this trail mix at Walmart. We had showed it to you guys. It was like a chocolate peanut butter trail mix. It was so good. In the trail mix was puppy chow. Some people call it puppy chow, some people call it muddy buddies. It's basically the same thing. So um, after having that trail mix, 
I've kind of like had a hankering for some of that. So when Michael went to the grocery store yesterday, I had him pick up the ingredients to make puppy chow. We'll just call it puppy chow. So it's just Chex Mix, uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips, peanut butter, and uh, oh, powdered sugar. I think that's it. There might You might have to add vanilla. I think you probably add vanilla and then you just like melt it and mix it up or whatever. So we're gonna do that. And I'm quite excited to have me some puppy chow. What do you think? I'm excited, I really like that. Oh my chow. gosh, it's so good, isn't it? All right, so I went in and did another coat on this. When it dries, it's really weird. I'm starting to wonder if this doesn't work. <laughs> and this one, I don't know, it looks okay. Chelsea's pink one looks cool. Again, they still need to dry, so we'll give them a chance. If all else fails, they're just jars that we had downstairs that weren't getting used. I did redo, Chelsea did some of the white and then I went in and did it again, but as it dries, I don't know. I'm not impressed, but it was a fun craft to do anyway. Also, we're fixing to get some rain today, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and plant these cucumbers outside in their pots. And I thought about going ahead and sticking these beans out there too, because they are trying to grow. Maybe I'll wait a little longer. Uh, the lavender's looking okay. The sweet pea's doing really well. I think I'm gonna let these guys on this half go ahead and grow some more, but I am gonna put these out with the cucumbers to hopefully get them some nice rain and maybe that'll get them to, to really take off. Okay, so now I'm making the puppy chow. I actually have to... <laughs> We're both on like unequal levels. Okay, let me try one. That's so good, just by itself. Okay. Mm, nine cups set this aside if you guys want this recipe it's on the back of the chucks mix box um, or you can also google it or go on to chucks.com uh, I have a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips a half a cup of peanut butter and a quarter cup of butter this is going to go into the microwave and we're going to melt it combine it stir it till smooth then add the uh, teaspoon of vanilla Somebody is all interested because she smells the peanut butter. I know, you'll get some as soon as it's done, okay? Hold on. I'm gonna let her lick this. Is she hot? Hot, hot, hot. Over the top of our cereal. Then we're gonna mix it up really good. Toss this around. Split it in half. I forgot to add in the vanilla. I'm so mad. So mad at myself. Make a mess, please make a mess, aw. Well, there's already a mess on the counter. Like, tip it upside down and what, shake it all around. Get it that cooked, powdered, right? yep, get that powdered sugar all over. I'm so mad, I can't believe I forgot that vanilla. I think I was just kind of like in a hurry to get it all mixed up and, uh, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Shake a shake a. Ooh. Thunder. <laughs> it's thundering out. I had the peanut butter sitting right there with the spoon, which Pixel is now looking back into the corner. <laughs> and um, I knocked it off the counter and then like caught it with my hip. I got peanut butter all over my shirt. Man, oh man. It looks white, that's gonna leave I think back. after this, mommy needs to call it a day. <laughs> I've made mistakes. <laughs> How's that taste test? Awesome. Awesome? Five. So, yeah. Well, Five. does it taste like the other bag I already tried? Tastes the same, right? Not really, actually it tastes a little bit more powdery. Oh, I might have put more powdered sugar in that one. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I'll dump some in the other one too. <laughs> okay, back to check on oh, our jars. Yes, that's the white one. Oh, no. <laughs> it just dried and you can't see anything. Okay, so here is mine. Like I said, I did two coats. Um, you know what's kind of funny is they make ball jars. Like they make jars that are already this color. <laughs> so oh, it just man. it just looks like one of those. Like I did, I just I did it myself. Here's my little one. So there's those. 
I like them, don't get me wrong. I, I'm actually quite impressed that these turned out the way that they did um, because I really didn't think it would work very well. And then here's Chelsea's pink one, which is probably like the best. That looks really good. Um, oh, and then she has a yellow one over there. Come show us your yellow one, Chelsea. So yeah, I like the way they turned out. I'm impressed that it actually worked because I really didn't think it was going to uh, for a minute there. <laughs> okay, show me your yellow. Is it dry? Yeah. Cool. Oh, that looks good too. See, I really like that. Now, if we display them all together, then it'll look really cool. All the different colors, aside from the white, because it didn't show up. <laughs> what has daddy been working on for hours? Hours? Like hours. Hours. It's, to we've determined. The lock on this. We've determined it's TSA. Yeah. That had to have like, messed with it. Before you guys left, Chelsea was messing around with this. And I told her not to, but it wasn't anything she did. To... <laughs> I helped Daddy. Can you fix it? I help. Maybe she can. It, we've tried everything the lock else. Thing, the lock thing had been turned all the way around into locking position. Right. So, when you guys went to Florida, TSA must have opened your suitcase, used their lock thing, and then left it locked. Here, you try and pick. <laughs> and so they didn't re-put it back to its normal position, so it's been, it's locked. So I'm trying to <laughs> pick it, pick or... it with like paper, we were, paper clips. We were both in there well, I've, trying we, everything we could. I've got it halfway turned around, and then... Like the key thing is what keeps the pins inside spread apart. So you gotta have those right and I lost it and now I can't get it back and have it twisted the rest of the way. So it's halfway there, but I'm like, I'm done. So like it's basically- Over it? Are we gonna- Don't touch it. Are you gonna just No, I'm it? done for now. I'm- Oh. <laughs> hours, hours of this. Hours he spent on this thing. Yes. yes. So I've got it halfway. Throwing in the towel for today. For today, yeah. I mean, you guys aren't gonna need it anytime soon. And if it was a worst case scenario, we've got our other big one like this. So. Oh, yeah. We've been tempted a few times yeah, to just I'll break boo. it. Yeah. <laughs>